Hey dudes, haven't made a video in a hot second. We just left Once Upon a Child and I'm freaking out and having heart palpitations because I found number four for $85. What a steal, I'm shaking. My mom is here, she's, she's laughing at me. Yep. <laughs> Hello everybody. Today's a very good day because I found a doll at Once Upon a Child my goodness, and I am shook because it's number four. Number four, the like holy grail almost. I don't know, okay, but like I was like shaking and hyperventilating. And, ugh. So, this is an uh, unbagging video because she doesn't have a box, so it's not unboxing. Unbagging and uh, fixing her up. Let's go. I'm hyped. All right, so I need scissors. Alright, so she was $85 Canadian. See? I thought that was pretty good considering it's number four. I found her at Once Upon a Child, which I don't, like, I've never found dolls there before in Canada. I've never seen anyone else find dolls there before in Canada. The one time I found a doll secondhand, it was at Goodwill, so. Okay. So we got these boots. These are American Girl brand, I'm pretty sure. If anyone knows what outfit any of these things are, I would appreciate it if you told me. Thank you. And then this skirt. This is cute. This is cute. I like it. I have one similar, actually. Her underwear. Nice, nice. It bothers me when my dolls don't have underwear. Then these shoes. Also American Girl brand, I'm pretty sure. And then doll travel. Oh my. Alright. And... This scarf. Oh, this is actually like American Girl. I don't know what this is from though. Alright. Here she is. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so I'm happy because her eyes aren't too wonky. And I've seen some number fours with like really messed up eyes. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, hair. Oh, it's good. It's good, guys. I felt it in the bag, and I thought it was good, but I wasn't sure. It's so good, actually. It's, like, maybe a little bit dry on the ends, but maybe, like, not even. It's so good. My goodness. Um, limbs? I thought they were pretty loose, but I think it's actually pretty okay. I don't think she'll stand, though. Okay, so now I'm going to take these clothes off and uh, check out how her body's doing. Make sure she doesn't have any stains. Okay, so we got one thing right here. We got something right there. It looks like it might be lipstick. Whatever, that's fine. If that's her only issue, I am pleased. And it appears that that is her only issue. My goodness. I cannot believe my luck right now. My goodness. So, now we're going to get to fixing her up. Okay, so now I'm going to... I'm going to brush her hair out. Okay guys, so she's looking good. Her hair brushed out real nice. She's doing good. Um, her ends are a little dry and her hair is quite thick, which made brushing through it all kind of difficult. I don't know if you can see. I'm also all zoomed in. But her ends are a little bit dry. Um, and a little bit like scraggly. So I think I'm gonna condition that and then maybe just trim along the edge a little tiny bit, just, be, just being careful. Hey guys, okay, so here we are in the bathroom. There she is. Got my supplies. Let's go. This is actually my mom's bathroom because my bathroom's ugly. <laughs> All right. There we go. Let's do this.
right, there we go. There's that. She looking cute. She cute. <laughs> She's a bit of a mess right now. We're getting there. Okay, so I've washed her hair. I'm gonna put a towel down. It's dry. Her hair's dried for a bit because I had to go see some dogs. Um, so it's kind of dry, but I'm gonna brush it out anyway. It's still wet on the ends. Okay, now she is brushed. Okay, so now I have this contraption set up, a stool with a piece of paper underneath of it. I'm gonna put her here. And the paper is gonna catch loose hairs that I cut. I'm just gonna trim the ends just to get the scraggly bits. Now I'm gonna do her bangs just a tiny bit because she just has a few hairs that are hanging down a little bit longer than I'd like. Okay, so here she is, looking good. Her ends are looking good. Okay, so now while her hair dries, it's time for everyone's favorite part, limb tightening. So I'm gonna put some Netflix on and we're gonna get going. I'm putting her stuffing in my uh, Spider-Man Far From Home popcorn bu bucket. Um, not sponsored. remember that you're actually doing it wrong and you don't know how to tighten limbs. I've only done it like five times but Nicole was stupid and was putting it under the cap when it's supposed to be under the knot. Thankfully I've only done one other that I'll need to fix. So time to undo my mistakes. Okay, now time to put her head back on, and I'm currently getting blinded by the sun coming in through my window. Okay, there, her limbs are all tightened. She's a little bit, like, uh, stocky right now, because, like, I can't get the stuffing exactly how it was before, but... Her limbs are nice and tight now. Her hair is washed and trimmed and it's looking really nice. It's still got a little bit of drying to do. And so you can see, it says Pleasant Company on her neck, which is nice. I think she's um, pre-2008, because someone on Instagram told me, because um, she has pie bangs, she's pre-2008 because before number four retired, she had um, non-pie bangs from 2008 to 2011. I'll put the Instagram of the person who gave me that helpful information below. Now I'm going to try and get off the scuff mark on her nose using uh, nail buffers. Okay, now I'm going to try and get this scratch off her nose. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it a little bit there. She's also a little bit sparkly and has some stuff in her mouth, so I'm going to 
clean that after, but I'm just trying to get all the repairs out of the way first before I clean her. Alright, so I have three different nail buffers. This one is just like a buffer to make it shiny. This one is a coarser nail, fi nail file, so I'm probably not going to use this just because I think it might scratch too much. And then this one has a whole bunch of different things going on. So I'm going to use this one first to file the scratch down and then buff it to make it smooth after. Okay, so I got the scuff out. I'll try and show you. I think you can see. Now I'm just going to buff it to smooth it over and make it nice and like the same shininess as the rest of her skin. Okay, there. So that looks pretty good. She's still got a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Um, over on this side of her nose. I don't know, I might try and get that out later, but I'm happy with it for now. Okay, so now I'm going to clean her. I'm not going to get this stain on her body out, just because it's not that bad, and I can always try and get it out later, and it doesn't really bug me, so. I'm just going to use my water bottle. Oh, that didn't really work. But, let's go. She's not really even that dirty. Now I'm going to use this Q-tip to get in here. All in her face, just because I don't, I want to be careful to keep the water. Okay, there, that's good. Now we're gonna let all that water evaporate off. All right, so here she is, all fixed up. I put her in a cute little outfit, forgot shoes as I always do, but really happy with how she turned out. I'm so happy I found her. Oh my goodness, I still can't believe I found number four. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, this is my 17th doll. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. I know I said I was going to film lots over the summer, but um, it's not going too well yet. Hopefully I'll do more before summer's over. I've been sewing a lot, so check out my Etsy. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to check out my other videos and comment your thoughts and like and subscribe. Bye!